We interrupt the waves music to bring you an interview from Contamination, St. Louis's own sci-fi horror and pop culture convention. Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighbor DJ Jazz Hands from 89.5 The Wave, and I am here at Contamination, and I am joined with Dr. Michael Henry. Dr. Michael Henry, and so you were kind of in the paranormal, but you also said that you do a lot more other stuff than that. Can you kind of tell us what some of the stuff you do? Spend most of my time these days running the ghost tours on Main Street in St. Charles. It uh, runs every Friday and Saturday night by appointment. It's been running for 10 years now. Nobody seems to know what's there even still. I've been researching the paranormal for close to 40 years. I was a ghost hunter before they called people ghost hunters. Now, you've probably seen the shows on TV. Yeah, it seems to be a ghost hunter these days. The only thing that's required is a really cool black T-shirt. Yeah, it seems like that, you know, pretty much. And now, because you, you've said that the paranormal community uh, of ghost hunters kind of, f- like, frown upon you or at least uh, tisk tisk or not like you too, too much. Why is that? Well, it varies widely. But in general, I insist on facts as best can be determined. What we're doing here is beyond a doubt a pseudoscience, which means it's not a, a false science. It just means much of what we do cannot be verified from a purely scientific standpoint. Um, I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I, I'm fascinated by it. But as I said, most of it, will it is not verifiable. But the scientist in me rebels at that. So, okay, kind of like, and this is going to be a weird question, but... And because I'm, I'm sure you get this quite a lot, you know, people calling and doing, you know, the false claims or somebody, somebody really with legitimate ghost problems. What kind of differs for you when you want to go and investigate something um, or when you wanted to go investigate something? What's kind of some of the warning signs that you would say people would that would kind of alarm in your head when somebody said, oh, I have this versus I have this? First thing I require before I'll approach a situation at all is three to six months of a diary, a journal. Somebody recording every single event, you know, they hear voices, their, you know, things fall off the shelves. Record the barometric pressure, phase of the moon, as many variables as possible for at least three months. That's the other thing is I will never comment on our approach, something that I don't have firsthand. Another thing to check, though, is... Um, in a, our formal questionnaire before we go in to do an evaluation, one of the things we check is their, their drug history. Wow, that's amazing. So you run a ghost tour in St. Charles. What would you say would be maybe, and not to like point it out, but one of the more haunted places in St. Charles? Well, there's two full manifestations down there, both of which we exploit on occasion. Um, there's a sheriff down there that committed suicide, and there's actually a blood stain on the wall where he committed suicide. What I call the lady in white, which I actually hate the name, but I don't know what else to call it, is um, I have a letter written by a man living on Main Street in September 1822. Describes this woman, uh, she died in childbirth. And uh, there's a potter's field down there that they didn't move all the bodies. There's still, we estimate 30 to 80 people still there. And we get frequent reports of a lady in a long white dress standing where, near where she was buried. Oh, wow, that's creepy. That's really cool because I'm, I'm big into ghosts, and I've, I've often wanted to try to kind of go ghost hunting, but I've always been very apprehensive just because of some of the stories you heard and if it is at all possible for ghosts to kind of follow you home. I mean, have you ever had anything follow you home? The most dangerous thing in a ghost hunting, number one, is trespassing and going to jail. The second one is people that people that you encounter there. Squatters, uh, scrappers, homeless, drug deals going down. That's the real danger of what's considered to be ghost hunting, unless it's a place you're authorized to go into and you know it's clean. Okay, cool. Okay, well, uh, thank you again so, so much. It's been an honor. Thank you. I'm honored. This is, like, way too much fun. Awesome, but this is Jazz Hands here at Contamination, and thank you again. For more information about Contamination, check out their Facebook at facebook.com slash contamination STL. And for more interviews from the con, check out our Facebook at facebook.com slash the wave STL. Stay tuned to 89.5 The Wave for more from Contamination. Contamination.